So I would like to welcome you to this uh, tutorial and uh, make sure you, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, click the notification bell so that whenever we release a new video, you get, uh, uh, you get uh, the notification instantly. Uh, the teacher who is going to work with you through this uh, revision of mathematics contest is uh, uh, Stephen of Educate, a passionate teacher of mathematics and uh, chemistry. So welcome and um, enjoy the lesson till the end of it. Otherwise, thank you. So, so the first question that we are going to 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 study or to discuss uh, is to study uh, the first question that we are going to discuss is. Um, uh, that is uh, a tailor boat. We are done number one and number two, so we are in number three. So don't be worried. A tailor boat, a pair of trousers at uh, 1,600. He marked the price such that after allowing his discount of 20%, he would still make a profit of 30 from the cash price. Determine the price at which the pair of trousers was uh, was marked. So I want to explain to you this. And uh, first of all, you can take this question so that when we are discussing it in the next page, you will be able to to follow whatever uh, we are keenly uh, doing. So if you check this. Uh, a tailor bought a pair of trousers at uh, 1,600. So that is the buying price. So the buying price is 1,600. He marked the price such that after allowing his discount of 20, he would still make a profit of 30 on cost price. So determine the price at which the pair of trousers was um, marked. So after taking this question, uh, you have to know it very well. So you know that you have understood, you have understood that this is uh, uh, the buying price. So if that is the buying price, then he marked the price is such that after allowing, so after he has allowed uh, the discount of uh, 20 percent, he would still make a profit of 30 percent on the cost uh, price. So determine the price at which the pair of trousers was marked. Uh, so now let us check uh, the next on how we are going to work this out. So you will realize that uh, if, uh, if we would still make a profit of uh, 30%. So that is 30, 30, you add it to 100, you will get 130. So first of all, you say if, 100 percent if 100 percent if 100 percent because that was the buying price is uh, equal to the buying price which is 1600 now if he made a profit if he made a profit of 30 percent so 30 plus 100 you get 130, 130 percent. So 130 percent, then you cross multiply. So you'll get that, uh, you'll get that uh, the, the marked price of this will be, that is 130 times one, uh, 1,600 
then you divide by 100, which will give you 2,080. So this 2,080, now uh, that is after allowing the discount, and uh, after allowing a discount of 30, of 80%, I mean. So after making the profit, this is now the, after allowing a profit of, after making a profit of 130. So, and this now is equivalent to now the discount that he was uh, offered to. So to me now 80% because he was given a discount of 20%. Uh, of, uh, so 100 minus 20 will get 80%. So 80% is now equivalent to this, uh, the, the, the selling uh, price. Uh, that is uh, it after making the, the profit. So if this is equivalent to this one, now 100 for the marked price. So now the marked price 100 will be what? So it will be uh, this, you multiply by 100, which is this one, then you divide by 80, which will now give you the marked price at 2,600. So this is the, our answer, how to, to make that calculation. That is how you should be able to uh, know that. That is how you should be able to know that. So first of all, if you go back to the question, if you go back to the question, we were told that a tailor bought a pair of trousers at this one. He marked the price such that after allowing his discount of 20, he would still make a profit of on the cost, the cost price. The cost price, this is the cost price. So to mean 130 because he made a profit of 30%. So 130% is equivalent to this one. Now what is 100%? So it will be 100 times, um, no, uh, that is uh, 100 is equal to this one, sorry. Uh, the 100 is equal to 1,600. And now what is now the, because this is the cost price, this, uh, the buying price, what that trouser cost. So 100 will be equivalent to this one, but this person made a profit of 30. So what is now, or after making the profit, after making the profit, what, is, what was the, the, the price now? So you realize that you'll say uh, one, 130, you multiply by this, then you divide by 100. Then it was, it was uh, this, the, the buyer was given a discount of 20%. So the answer that we are, will get here, we'll equate it to 80%. Now the 100% will be the cost price now. We are determining the, the price at which the trouser was marked, the marked price which is now whatever the answer we'll get here, we multiply by by 30, not by 30, but by 100. Then we divide by 80. We'll be able to to get the, the price at which the trouser was marked. Uh, let's also check this one. Another question that is uh, the number four. The figure below AC is an arc. The AC, you can see this is an arc. That is AC, which is an arc uh, of a circle center B. So this is uh, now the center. So the circle that goes like that up to there. Given that a b a a b is equal to a b is equal to b c is equal to b c uh, which is equal to 14 centimeters so from here up to there is 14 centimeters here also 14 centimeters we should uh, know that then c d C, D is eight. At angle A, B, D, angle A, B, 
D. This angle here is 75. It's 75 uh, degrees. That angle is 75 degrees. Seventy-five degrees is seventy-five degrees. So that angle is seventy-five uh, degrees. So let us now check on this very well. Uh, calculate the area of the shaded region. So this area. That is A, C, D. That is the region that we want. Very simple. We have been told that this is an arc. So what we'll do, we'll get the area of uh, the old triangle. This old triangle. The old triangle. Where we can um, use the old triangle how do we get, we can uh, uh, use, uh, that is uh, AB, a half AB sine C. So to mean we have to get the distance which we have been given here to be eight. So that is eight. So how will we get the area, all this area? So it will be the area, for us to get the area of the shaded, we'll get the area area of triangle 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 a b c minus the area of um, the area of a B, C. So that is how we'll get the area of the shaded. Where the area of the triangle ABC can be gotten by a half, a half, half sine, half AB, I mean half AB, sine theta minus the 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 area of abc will be now there will be now theta over 360 uh pi r square pi r square that way so that is the formula that we are going to use. So kindly check on that. Where A and B here will be 14. Now uh, B, uh, B, D will be 14 plus eight, which is now 22. So we'll have a half times 14 times um, 22 times uh, sine 75 minus 75 over 360 times 14 times 14. So now ch let's check the next slide how we did, I did the calculation earlier. So you can see that is a, a, a half times 14 times 14. That is a half A, B sine C times sine 75 minus 75 over 360 times uh, pi r square, which is 22 over seven times 14 times 14. So from there, if we check there very well, we'll be able to, to get that. Uh, if we do it, if we do it, we'll be able to, to get the answer that is uh, seven, this one goes here, one, this goes here, seven times 
So we'll now have seven times 22 times sine 75. Also here, we can uh, simplify. Uh, we can simplify that by, uh, we can simplify that by maybe dividing this, this two goes here, two goes here 11, two goes here 180. We can simplify it uh, the further, seven goes here one, seven goes into 14, uh, seven times, two times, I mean. 14 times 14, that is two. Uh, two goes here also one, two goes here. Uh, 90. Then here we will now remain uh, with seven. We we'll remain with that seven. So then we can also simplify this further. Five goes here. Five goes here. Fifteen. Five goes here. Five into that goes there. Five into it goes once. Or uh, five. Then three goes here. Sorry. Five goes here. One remainder four into forty. It goes eight times. Then uh, from there, if you simplified it, you'll get this one. If you simplified it all, you'll be able to get that. Uh, then if you also use your calculator, that is uh, this one, minus that, you'll be able to get 20.42 centimeters squared, squared centimeters. So that is how you should be able to do that. Then, uh, the next question is on this one. Uh, the next question is on this. A regular polygon has the sum of all its interior angles as this one. Find the size of each interior angle of the polygon, exterior angle of, of each. Find the size of each exterior angle of uh, the polygon. See, you know that. Um, uh, 90, the formula for the getting the sum of interior is 90 into two, that is, uh, that is N minus, no, sorry, should be 90 into 2n minus 4. So like here, the sum we have been given already here. So let us get the number of angles that is um, n. So you realize that it will be 90 into 2n minus 4 is equal to 1,260. 1, Let's check in the next working slide. The sum of interior is just the same thing. You can either use 90 into 2M, uh, that is 90 into, no, into 4, 2N minus four, which if you simplify, it can also give you this one. You can also use N minus two is, uh, times nine, 180. So if you simplify this, it will help you to give, so we replace, that is 180 into N minus two is equal to this one. Now let's open the bracket. So what 80 times N will get one, 180 N, uh, 180 minus two times uh, 180, which is now 360 is equivalent to 
1260. Then from there, we can now get the value of n by dividing both sides by 180 by 180. So uh, 180 will cancel that, then n will give us that is six, six, 1620 divided by 180, which is equal to is equal to nine. So that is it. Now we have gotten the value of nine at the, as the number of n, that is the number of sides. Now for us to get the, the exterior angle, the exterior angle, exterior angle will be now equivalent to, uh, that is 360, 360 over the exterior angle, over the exterior angle should give us, should give us the, the end that is uh, the number of uh, sides. So, uh, so for us to get now the end, the number of, uh, uh, for us to get, we have the end, which is nine. So for us to get now the exterior angle, it will be 360 over the N, which is nine. So if you do it like that, you will be able to, to get the exterior angle to be 40 degrees as our exterior angle. So I hope you have understood that very magnetically. Let us uh, also see this one. So uh, we shall continue from there. Maybe next time you can also subscribe for, to our YouTube channel so that you can be able to uh, get notification. You subscribe, you know, your support is our support. So you subscribe, uh, you know, when we have many subscribers is when also we can be motivated to upload new videos. Uh, good tutorial videos for mathematics and chemistry. We'll be doing them perfectly uh, so that at least you get something at the end of it. Otherwise, subscribe and um, hit the notification bell so that whenever we release a new video, you get a notification uh, at, uh, at once. And may God bless you, we love you, the person watching, I'm talking to you. So make sure you subscribe. Don't just watch the video and leave. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Yes. Bye.